So I have here sap green and yellow ochre. Yellow ochre, white, cadmium yellow light, and sap green. So this is good. I'm gonna just, I'm adding yellow ochre to sap green. And I'm gonna take a bit of cadmium yellow light, put it in, and we will put a couple of greens, green leaves in here. Dark a little bit. Some of them are dark, some of them are light. And they don't have to be in a specific way anywhere. Just to add some green. Add, I'll add a couple in here too. So since we're working with green, it's a good idea now at this point to put some green, sap green and yellow ochre in this basket right here. So we can cover. Okay. Let's put a couple bit of greens, uh, green in maybe, oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it in here, in this basket. If you like to put it in the other basket, that's nice too, in the one, the, the, the one in the back. Okay, so let's take cadmium yellow light and highlight a bit, maybe a bit of white with that. So we're just making noise. I'm taking some yellow right now. 
yellow with yellow ochre. And I'm just putting a hint of flowers here, yellow flowers. It should dry darker, and if it doesn't dry darker, then we will glaze it and make it a little bit darker. But I think it should be okay. Bit of yellow ochre in my yellow uh, cadmium yellow light just to tone them down. Okay. I think we're okay with it here. Um, let's take a bit of that lemony yellow and just highlight this part. Paints gray, bit of white, this part. Let's take a bit of white and put it here, paint gray and white. Okay, I'm going to use a bit of um, ultramarine violet. Mix it with white. That would give me a soft purple. Or any purple you have. This is mostly for color. It will look like it's uh, lavender, but it's just mostly for color. Okay. 
Sorry, can you repeat the colors that you used for the lavender? Ultramarine, ultramarine violet and a bit of white. Or any color you have. If you have dioxazine purple and white, that's fine too. Just just a bit of purple in here. I guess um I think lavender has you know a bit of red in it, no? Or is it blue mostly? I don't have one here. Blue, right? Yeah. A purplish blue. Yeah. Purple, yeah. So yeah, ultramarine. Ultramarine uh, um violet will work. I'll put some white with, you know, highlight my ultramarine violet and just put a bit of in here. Okay. Perfect. That's good. Okay. Let's put some green in this one here. Sap green. It's going to look a bit dark first. First, it's going to, I'm, I'm, I'm e even putting a bit of uh, Payne's gray in my green, just a bit just to get a, a dark <clears throat> green. Okay, now I'm going to highlight my green with yellow, cadmium yellow light. And let's take it from here. I'm just going to put some
this is cadmium red light. Just taking cadmium red light. And I'm going to highlight the hot pepper. Actually, that might be a little bit too strong. So touch a very small amount in my cadmium red light of Payne's gray. Although, I mean, the, dries darker, acrylics dries darker, but still. Okay, it's good. I'm gonna take the same, just a bit of red and put it in here, a couple. Just a couple in this yellow. Okay, I think we're good, this part, this is, this is good. This is yellow ochre, and this is a bit of um, titanium buff. This basket will look nicer with a handle. This yellow ochre, oh, we need more yellow ochre in here. And maybe a bit of raw umber as well. never really highlight anything or put a, a, a pattern or a highlight without having a dark base. I tried without putting a dark base, it didn't work. Uh, so <clears throat> I used raw umber and a bit of uh, yellow ochre and I put a handle in here. And then I highlighted. 